Jalon and Kribo, the Snake. Written by Lystra Mark, illustrated by Nashawn Jeremiah. Jalon gets into bed. Grandma tells him a story about a Kribo. <gasps> Jalon sighs. <gasps> Is it true? Jalon closes his eyes. He pictures the large, dark snake sliding and gliding towards him. Out of the night, his goat Betty bleats loudly. Bah! 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 Oh my gosh! Jalon jumps up. Betty is still outside. He walks outside in bare feet. He hurries into the bushes. Quickly, he gathers some vine for Betty's supper. He unties Betty's rope. As he rushes to the pen, his eyes dart around, looking for danger. He tries not to listen to the creepy night sounds. The path seems very, very long. Then Jalon feels something chilly, something slippery, touch his toes. He freezes. He feels the cold thing again. He steps back. His hands are now sweating. Jalon turns to run back home. The vine and Betty's rope fall from his hands. As he tries to pick up the rope, he trips on a mango tree stump. Bam! He falls flat. Ouch! Oh! Jalon whimpers. His eyes are wet. He eases his head up a bit. He closes his eyes tightly. And when he opens them again, what does he see? A pair of green glowing eyes. The big snake has scales like glossy coals. Hello, I am Krebo, says the creature. Jalon's chest gets tight. It's hard to breathe. Are you hurt? Asks the snake. Jalon sees Krebo's strong fangs. Jalon's mouth opens, but he makes no sound. He has to get away. His legs feel like they are no longer his. One knee burns like the taste of bird pepper. His heart races. He wishes someone would come to save him. But only Kribo is here. Boom, boom, thump, boom. A bay leaf stick. Surely the stick will help him to defend himself. The green eyes are still on him. Betty screams out, Bah! Jalon remembers grandma's stories about Kribos. No, 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 not Betty, he shouts. He takes the bay leaf stick. His legs are shaking, but he stands tall. His eyes are fiery. He stands between Betty and Kribo. Jalon is now a stick fighter. Do you think I don't know about you? says Jalon. You coil yourself around animals and you squeeze them to death. That's not true. I only eat rats and other snakes, replies Kribo. I don't believe you. I know all the stories. You tempt people with your beautiful crown and if they dare take it, you follow them for the rest of their lives. Ah, these are all tales, says Kribo. I don't even have a crown. I am a lonely, endangered animal. I want to be friends with people, but they harm my kind all the time. Jalen shakes his head in disbelief. He grabs Betty's rope. He hurries back to the house, keeping an eye on Kribo. Jalon settles Betty in the veranda. He locks the gate. He climbs back into bed. The bay leaf stick is still in his hand. The next morning, Jalon wakes up early. Betty is not on the veranda. He runs back to the same spot where he saw Kribo. No, Betty. He runs to the pen. <gasps> Betty is here. She's munching on a big bundle of vine. Kribo is nowhere to be found. Who put Betty in her pen? He asks his family members one by one. What's wrong with you, Jalon? They reply. You put Betty in her pen before you went to bed. So 
Who got wine for her? He asked. You, Jalon, you, they say. Jalon tells his story to everyone he meets, but no one believes that it is true. <laughs>